Please ensure that you have your copybook at hand as you'll be asked to take down notes from the screen at various points throughout the program. All right, here's what you need to get started. You need a Mac or Windows machine. You technically can use Linux, but it will be harder as there's no user interface for Google App Engine Launcher. So if you're super comfortable and you know how to use the command line tools not covered in this video, then you can still use Linux. But uh, easiest is on the Mac by far and second Windows. Uh, you need an account on GitHub. You can create one for free at github.com. Uh, you need to have Git. You may have it on your machine already. Uh, you need the App Engine SDK. So this is the uh, runtime environment that will run on your local machine that will simulate the, uh, the cloud services that Google provides, actually. It's pretty fascinating, and the SDK includes a user interface that's nice to use. You need Python, and you need Fabric, which once you have Python installed, you can uh, just do easy install fabric to set it up and then you just need a text editor and a web browser all right let's get into some code so all of the code that we have on the hacker dojo organization is stored on github so we're going to go to github.com slash hacker dojo now you can see a list of all the different repositories that we have we have a repository for the event system for an android and iphone app the Hermian website everything from the sign up system to the sign in system uh, there's a lot of different repositories today we're interested in the event system so i'm going to click on to hd events now you see that we're still looking at hacker dojo's copy of the events code so what we need to do is to fork it over to my personal user account of Dustball. So now we have our copy of the code base onto my personal account. Still on GitHub though, so what we need to do next is to clone the repository onto my local machine, my Mac here at home. So I'm going to copy to clipboard the SSH version of the URL, hop over to terminal, and I'm going to git clone that URL. With that done, now you'll see that I actually have a events directory on my local machine. Now I can start to edit files. So there's a common fabric that we use throughout the applications. And to initialize it, all you need to do is to run fab space init in the uh, directory of HDMS. Done. So now that we have the code on our local machine, we need to add the project to the Google App Engine development environment. So to do that, we run Google App Engine Launcher. That's part of the SDK that you downloaded earlier. Now we go to the File menu and choose Add Existing Application. Hit the Browse button. Choose the HD events on your path. And then hit OK. So you can ignore the projects I already have from unrelated work, but we can see that we now have HD events. Uh, one thing you want to do before you run it is to make sure you're specifying the right version of Python. And to make a long story short, you can do this by going into preferences, typing in slash user slash bin slash Python 2.5, and then focus in that text box and hit the enter button. It's a, uh, it's a bug in the UI, uh, but if you don't do this, you might get some strange errors. Uh, so now you know. So close out of that. And now you can even click the Run button, which starts a copy of the event system local to your machine. Once running, the Browse button will become available. You can click that, and now you see the event system. Obviously, there aren't any events in the local copy of your database. So if you want, you can go ahead and create one. You can log in as any fake user. You don't even need a password because this is a development environment. And now you can create an event. So I'm going to make a code change. One thing that has always bothered me with the events application is that the title of the event, test event, ignore, doesn't show up in the HTML title, which is silly because the tab is not very meaningful and you don't get the uh, 
obvious search engine bump by having relevant information in the title. So I want to fix that. So I'm going to go to my favorite text editor and I'm going to go to the templates subdirectory of HD events and I'm going to open up the base and the event HTML files. So you can see in base that the title is hard-coded which seems pretty silly so we're going to use the block command and let the title be modified in later templates so much like a variable so we can go to the event and this is where we define the contents of the title and we can just copy the event name code here paste it in now we don't have to do anything else other than switch back and just hit reload and hopefully that works and it does uh, so you don't need to compile anything you don't need to uh, stop and start the application and app engine everything is generally live uh, it's a pretty pretty easy development environment so Next thing we want to do is we want to say, hey, this is great. We want to actually uh, check this code in. So let's switch over to the terminal. And we, if we do a git diff, see the changes that we've made. So we want to review everything to make sure we're checking in uh, everything that we intend. Uh, anything in the shared directory, you could ignore. Uh, but you see that we did change this line in base and we did change this line and event so that it looks good we didn't see any changes that we didn't really intend well maybe these two blank lines um, here we can get rid of that do the diff all right we're good so if we do a git commit dash a that will commit all the changes um, i'm going to add a comment And now we're going to do a git push. Now, this has pushed the code to my version of the HD events repository on GitHub. So if we go back to our browser and go back to GitHub, you'll see that it has that change that we just made. Um, to get this onto the mainstream, you know, the Hacker Dojo owned version of HD events, you simply need to do a pull, pull request. So it says, hey, you're asking Hacker Dojo to pull in the change I just made. And I say, hey, I uh, added a nice little fix for HTML title. And then we send the pull requests. And that's it.